Hi friends, welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss what is a package, what is the package specification, package body, how to create a package specification, how to create a package body, how to invoke a procedure or a function or a cursor which is there inside the package. All these concepts I will discuss in detail for you. So I sincerely request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. First let me define what is a packages. Packages are schema objects that groups logically related PLSQL types, variables, functions, cursors and subprograms. So it is logically grouping various related functions, cursors, procedures, variables, subprograms, etc. into a single group. That group we will call it as a package. Every package has two mandatory parts. One is package specification and another one is the package body or I can say package definition. Normally the package specification consists of the declaration of the functions, procedures, cursors, etc. Whereas the package body consists of the definitions which are declared in the package specification such as definition of a function, definition of a procedure, etc. Now let me discuss in detail about the package specification. As I said earlier, package specification consists of declaration or the prototype of the functions, procedures, cursors, etc. So it just declares the variables, constants, exceptions, cursors and sub program that can be referenced from outside the package. So what are the functions, cursors, sub programs you want to keep them in a group of a package. Those functions, variables, constants, exceptions, procedures, etc. You need to declare them inside the package specification. In the package body, you will define them. Now let me discuss in detail about the package body. All objects placed in the specification are called public objects. What is meant by public object? If you make any object as a public, you can access them anywhere. If you make it as a private, you can access only inside the package only. So by default all the objects which are specified in the package specification are called public objects. Any sub program not in the package specification but coded in the function body is called private object. Now let me discuss in detail about the package body. The package body has the codes for various methods functions, procedures declared in the package specification and other private declaration which are hidden from the code outside the package. So whatever the functions, cursors, procedures which you have declared in the package specification, those functions, cursors, procedures, you will define them inside the package body. Defining means what are the statements you want to execute whenever you are calling the function or a procedure. All those statements you will write inside the package body. Now let me discuss the syntax for creating a package. So you need to write create or replace package and then you need to provide the package name. I can write it as package underscore name and then I can write is. If you want to declare any procedure, you need to write procedure, procedure name and what are the parameters you want to provide and its corresponding data type you can write here. So you can write parameter P1 and its data type D1, whatever you want to provide, you can provide like this end with semicolon. Similarly, if you want to declare another procedure, then you have to write procedure, procedure name and then parameter and its 
data type similarly if you want to declare any function then you need to write function function name and the optional parameters and then you need to write return and the return data type and then you can write the end and then end with a semicolon so like this you can create a package so the package specification consists of the procedures functions definition now let me discuss how can you create a package body because the package body statement is used for creating the package body so you have a statement called create package body so you need to write create or replace package body and then you need to write the package name so i will write create or replace package body you need to write and then package name you need to provide here and then you can write as and then what are the functions you want to define you have to define inside the begin section so you need to write create or replace package package body package name and then as and then what are the procedures or the functions you want to define you need to define inside that one so you need to write procedure procedure name and the list of parameters and its corresponding data type and then you need to write is and then you need to write the begin so what are the procedure body you need to write inside the begin session similarly what is the function body means what are the statements you want to execute whenever this function has been invoked or whenever this procedure has been invoked all the statements you will write inside the begin session and then you will write here end and then you can write procedure name and then you can define one more procedure a function like that you can write everything and then finally you can end this one so like this you can create or replace a package body so if you write create package body package name if the package body is not existing then it will create a new one and let's consider that package body with the package name is already available then it will replace with the new one whatever you are doing similarly when you have written create or replace package package name if the package name is not existing then it will create if it is already existing then it will replace with this one we will discuss how to create the package specifications and package body in plsql so i will open the sql plus and then i will write set server output on end with semicolon now i will write a package specification so the syntax is create or replace package package name i will write it as pa1 and then i will write is procedure i want to write the procedure name as hire so i am declaring the procedure called hire and fire inside this package called pa1 so this is package specification so i am declaring all the procedures such as hire and fire so i will write the parameters e in number comma n in var care 2 comma j in var care 2 comma s in number comma d in number end with semicolon when we have discussed about the procedures we have three types of parameters one is in parameter out parameter and in out parameter so here all the parameters are in parameters so similarly i will declare another procedure called fire so i will write a procedure procedure name is fire and i will provide the parameters e in number end with the semicolon so i have declared two procedures in the package specification and the name of the package is pa1 and then i will write end with the semicolon then backslash now you can see package has been created if you want to verify this syntax let me open this one in notepad the syntax is create or replace 
package package name then you have to write is whatever the functions or the procedures or cursors you want to declare you have to declare them and then finally you have to write the end end with a semicolon so like this you need to provide the package specification now i will provide the package body for the package called pa1 because package specification will consist of only the methods functions procedures declaration only but the definition will be there in the package body so i will write create or replace package let me write the spelling properly package body and the name of the package is pa1 i will write as procedure procedure name is hire so i am providing the definition for the procedure called hire so what are the parameters are there e which is a number n which is a var char 2 j in var char 2 s in number comma d in number and then i will write is begin and now the procedure definition i will write inside the begin session so what is the procedure instructions you want to execute whenever someone is invoked this procedure called hire what are the statements you want to execute those statements you will write inside the begin session so this procedure is useful for me to insert one row into the table called emp so how can you insert one row into the uh, table so you need to write insert into table name here i want to insert this row into the table name called emp so i have written the table name as emp i want to insert the values for only few attributes so the attributes list you need to provide here one is emp number e name comma job comma sal comma department number and then values and then the values are there in the variables called e comma n comma j comma s comma d and then you can end with semicolon then you want to commit the statement and then you want to end the procedure called hire and then you want to define the another procedure called fire so you will write a procedure procedure name is fire and then parameters which is e in number and then you will write is and what are the procedure body you will write inside the begin block this file is useful for you to delete one row from the table called emp so i will write delete from table name is emp where emp number is equal to e so whatever the value is there in the variable e will be verified with the emp number if it is matching with one of the row from the table called emp that row will be removed from the table called emp so then after performing the delete i will perform the commit operation and then i will end the procedure called fire and then i will end and then now you can see we got a statement called package body created if you want to verify this entire package body let me open this one in notepad you can see create or replace package body package name as and what are the procedures or functions are there all the procedure functions definition you need to provide here if you have declared the any procedure or a function in the package specification and also you are defining inside the package body then those procedures or functions will be public objects now let me save this one and close it now i want to invoke one of the procedure which is there in the package called pa1 so the syntax is you need to write execute and then package name dot 
the procedure name or the function name and what are the parameters you want to pass to the procedure you will pass it and finally you will end with semicolon now let me perform this one in the sql plus first let me clear the screen and then i will write set server output on end with the semicolon now i have declared two procedures called hire and fire and also i have defined them in the package body now i want to execute the hire procedure so i will write execute package name is what pa1 dot the procedure name is hire and i need to pass five values which is the emp number employee number employee name job his salary and the department number so let me give the employee number as 500 his name i will enter as ramu and his job is let's consider that clerk and his salary is 10,000 comma his department number is 20 and then end with the semicolon now you can see PLSQL procedure successfully completed if you want to verify whether this row has been inserted inside the table called EMP then you can write select star from EMP end with the semicolon now you can see there will be one employee whose employee number will be 500 we will verify whether any employee whose name is ramu is there or not so i will write select e name comma emp number from emp where sal is equal to 10000 let me end with semicolon you can see there is an employee name called ramu his employee number is 500 that one only we have inserted into the table called emp let me clear the screen and then i want to write set server output on let me verify the spelling properly set server output on end with semicolon then i will invoke the procedure called fire so how i will write execute and then package name is what pa1 then i will write fire the employee number is 500 now let me end with the semicolon plsql procedure successfully completed now let me display the information which is there in the emp table now only 11 rows are selected the 12th row is not there means whatever the employee number is 500 that employee details have been removed from the table called emp if you want to verify you can write select emp number from emp where e name is equal to ramu that is what the employee name we have inserted now you can see no rows are selected similarly if you want to display the emp number comma e name from emp where sal is equal to 10,000. Now also you can see no rows are select. Similarly, if you want to remove the information of the Martin, that also I can do. What is his employee number 7654? I will call the procedure called fire. So how I need to call execute? Package name is what? PA1 dot fire and then employee number is 7654. Let me end with the semicolon. Now you can see PLS procedure successfully completed as we have removed one more row from the table called emp now only 10 rows will be displayed as an output so how i can display the information which is there in the table select star from the table name now you can see only 10 rows are displayed so martin information have been removed from the table called emp i hope it is clear for you what is a package what is the mandatory parts in the package such as package specification and package body how to create the package specification how to create the package body how can we invoke the procedure or a function which is there in the package if you still have any doubts related to this concept feel free to ask me in the comment section i will try to 
clear your doubts as early as possible. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.